Welcome everyone. Thank you for tuning in today for Quaver Ed's webinar, Quaver Health PE for the whole school. Today's webinar will focus on how Quaver Health PE can support your school or district's implementation of whole child wellness. Did you know that our K-5 digital curriculum was designed to help your whole school or district with fitting in health education, physical education, movement minutes, social emotional learning opportunities, and school-wide wellness challenges to support building lifelong healthy behaviors? I'm here today to show you how our one-stop shop digital and customizable whole school license curriculum can support your PE teachers, classroom teachers, health educators, counselors, and even parents and families to help build and create a supportive community of wellness. Before we jump into today's webinar, I would love to familiarize you with our company, Quaver Ed. Quaver Ed was founded in 2011 in Nashville, Tennessee. We're located right on Music Row. Our mission is enriching children's lives, specifically at the elementary level, and we do so through our engaging online curricula to support quality and interactive instruction. We started off with Quaver Music back in 2011, and since then have carried forward our mission to enrich the lives of children through SEL, Pre-K, and now our newest Health PE curriculum. Our products are currently being implemented in over 18,000 schools in all 50 states and in 41 countries worldwide. And we have grown to a staff of 172 full-time employees. Now that you're familiar with Quaver Ed, I would love to introduce you to the reason we're here together today, our newest product, Quaver Health PE. Quaver Health PE is a digital kinesthetic interactive health and PE curriculum for grades K through five. Fully aligned to the national shape standards for both health and PE, we offer a whole school approach to supporting whole child wellness. With multimedia, music, and movement-based resources, such as music videos, body and brain warmups, physical skill videos, gym games, kid talks, and more, we pride ourselves in supporting the needs of all learners and of all educators tasked with teaching health and or PE. Packed with movement in both our health and PE lessons, support your school's CSPAP and enjoy a resource that helps you with fitting in your 150 minutes of weekly physical activity. Okay, now that we know a bit more about Quaver Health PE, and Quaver Ed, let's jump right in and see how Quaver Health PE can support the whole school. When you first log in to Quaver Health PE, the teacher dashboard is the first thing you'll see. This is your one-stop shop to accessing everything within our platform. The top half of the dashboard contains all of your administrative tools. Quaver PD offers professional development resources in support of utilizing our platform. Resource manager and creation work hand in hand, allowing for educators to modify, create, or build lessons for a customized instructional approach. Student admin supports teachers with managing student accounts and student progress. And Q support provides answers to frequently asked questions and connection with our customer service team. Next, the bottom half of the dashboard contains all instructional resources needed to support instruction. Our 196 health lessons will explore these next, and we'll also explore our 12 PE units and weekly PE lesson plans today as well. Custom lessons allow administrators to save customized lessons and order them to match their district's pacing guide to then share at the school or district level. New content is just that. We update this four times per year. And instructional guides help teachers with instructional tips and strategies, such as English language learner support guides and cross-curricular integration maps. The health and PE toolboxes provide a la carte resources categorized by topic to search for on both health and PE topics. Lastly, Parent and community resources foster school-wide wellness. Parent resources builds a home-to-school connection through family access to a portal of activities to reinforce at home, 
while community resources builds a whole school wellness approach and community connection through wellness challenges and guest visitor suggestions. So now that you know a bit more about our curriculum platform and how we can support the whole school, let's jump into health lessons and see how these lessons can support any teacher tasked with teaching health. When you click into health lessons, you're taken to the health lesson selection menu. Notice the eight module themes to the left, and notice the grade level bands here across the top. As we click from K to first grade, to second grade, to third grade, notice how the lesson titles change, but the modules remain the same. This allows for students to build upon the same eight health themes across elementary school. For today, let's scroll down under the third grade lessons to the Healthy Eating and Nutrition module. Notice here the four lessons available under this module with the suggested pacing of teaching one lesson per week. Let's click into the lesson, Making Nutritional Choices. Every health lesson overview provides three tabs here at the top to provide a flexible approach to teaching health for any educator through various lesson pacings and layouts. We will define these momentarily, but first, let's walk through the scaffolding of a typical health lesson. The first activity is the body and brain warm-up. This works for any gym or classroom setting and warms up the body through locomotor or manipulative skill movements and the brain through essential health questions. The second activity, core content, addresses the main health standards taught through an interactive and engaging mini lesson. Next, when students have activated prior knowledge and participated in direct instruction, the third activity helps to build upon concepts taught kinesthetically through either a movement-packed song or gym game. After kinesthetic application, every lesson ties in a real-life application activity, connecting the lesson to students' everyday lives to support them in building and applying lifelong healthy behaviors. And lastly, every lesson ends with a formative or summative assessment. This is completable as a whole group and is also assignable to individual student accounts for individual assessment. Now that you know a bit more about the scaffolding of a lesson, Let's scroll back up to the top and walk through the three different ways to view or break down a lesson. The first view, lesson view, is designed for the school health educator who's able to teach the full 30 to 45 minute lesson in one class period, or perhaps also for a school counselor, supporting and teaching some of the more social or emotional health lessons. The second view, daily dose, breaks down a lesson across the course of a week into short five-minute daily doses. This allows for a classroom teacher or any educator tasked with teaching health who sees students on a daily basis to fit in a lesson easily across the course of a week through small doses of instruction. To fit in health perhaps during a morning meeting, closing circle time, or to incorporate movement during movement breaks for the body and brain warmups and kinesthetic application. Finally, the health and PE view is designed for the physical educator tasked with not just teaching PE and health, but also with maintaining movement for more than 50% of class time. Under this format, the PE teacher spends the first 10 to 15 minutes on health with a warm up, a mini lesson, and a song or gym game, then spends 20 to 25 minutes on PE skills practice, instructional activities, games, and physical skill videos. And lastly, spends the last five to 10 minutes of class cooling down and stretching while also completing the real life application and assessment activities. These health lessons are truly designed with a flexible approach to meet the needs of any educator tasked with teaching health. Let's scroll down to the bottom and click the lesson plan button to note that the lesson purpose, objectives, standards, materials, and instructional tips and strategies as well are available for teachers to view digitally, to print, or to customize as well. Finally, 
let's head back to launch this lesson. Note here on the lesson overview screen that when I click into the overview button, the student friendly I can statements are available in addition to music to build a warm and welcoming learning space as students get settled for learning. When we click into this lesson, let's head directly to the Healthy Choices Gym Game, one of my favorite games. Here, we can identify how kinesthetic application activities can be implemented in any learning environment, a classroom or a gym. Here, students apply health skills learned in a gamified approach. First, by tying in the game purpose, then visualizing how to prepare for the game with setup, and having additional support through gameplay and through activity tips. When you X out of how to play, we see a visual of how to play and set up for the game here, complete with an adjustable timer and music all in one place on one screen. Also, teachers can toggle to the classroom view to allow for this game to be taught or played in any learning space. Now that we understand the flexibility of health lessons and how they can be taught by any educator in any setting, let's head back to the teacher dashboard and dive into PE lessons to better understand how Quaver Health PE can support PE teachers. When we click into PE lessons and jump here to the PE lesson selection menu, notice the 12 PE units on the left and the grade level bands here at the top. When I click into kindergarten, then first grade, then second grade, then third grade, notice that just like the health lessons, the lesson titles change, but the units remain the same to allow for students to build upon the same 12 units and skills across elementary school. Let's explore the third grade kick unit. Notice that there are three PE lessons available per unit with the suggested pacing of teaching one lesson per week, in addition to bonus activities and games for the unit. For today, let's jump into week three lesson, Assess Kick. Similar to that of the health lesson overview, every PE lesson begins with the warm up, moves into skills practice, with skill demonstration videos, instructional activities, games, and skill connections to students' everyday lives, then moves into assessment and goal progress with a rubric and a checklist, and concludes with an interactive cool-down activity. From here, let's scroll down to the bottom of the overview and note that the lesson overview with the lesson purpose and objectives and the lesson plan are both available here under the PE lessons as well. Let's click launch and launch this lesson to view one of the physical skill demonstration videos. Let's click into kick a moving ball and let's play a video clip of the kick on the ground video to view one of these skill videos now. Kick a ball moving on the ground. This is how you kick a ball that is moving on the ground. Ready. Stand across from your partner in ready position. Your partner will roll the ball toward your feet. Eyes track. Keep your head down and track or focus on the ball. Plant. Run toward the ball and plant your body weight on your non-kicking foot. Kick and follow through. Once your non-kicking foot is planted, swing back your kicking leg, kick the ball with the inside of your foot along the ground, and follow through toward your partner. Use enough force to return the ball to your partner but not past them. Let's practice kicking a ball that is moving on. What a great way to learn and apply a physical skill. Note that these videos are not meant to replace the PE teachers, but to support them. 
These videos can be continuously played as a student visual support while the PE teacher walks around the room to coach individual students. This allows for all learners to build confidence in practicing and applying skills and allows for these videos to be sent home as well to reinforce with parents and families while maintaining proper form and cueing. In a gym setting, PE teachers can utilize any form of technology to support instruction, from a simple projector on a white wall, indoors or outdoors, to a smart board screen. Let's also click into the menu bar and let's select Notes. Here, we can find the written out verbal cues for each skill readily available, in addition to all materials needed for the instructional activities and games to practice and apply after the skill demonstration. Now that we've looked at a health lesson and a PE lesson, let's return to the teacher dashboard and take a peek at how Quaver Health PE can support the whole school through community resources. When we click into community resources, you'll find PDFs for each of the eight health module themes. These community resources support the WISC model and implementation of whole school wellness. Let's jump into the healthy eating and nutrition module to connect to the nutrition lesson we viewed in today's webinar. Under community resources, teachers will enjoy suggested websites for enrichment, health expert guest visitor suggestions, and wellness challenges to practice application of health skills. Let's view these resources for this module. Note the suggested websites for enrichment here, the guest visitor suggestions with suggested activities to have students participate in before, during, and after their visit, and lastly, wellness challenges that connect parents, families, staff, students, and the outside school community through a rainbow recipe challenge and healthy recipe book. All activities here are ready to download and print, and all student and family-facing materials are available in both English and Spanish. Let's head back to the teacher dashboard and explore parent resources to identify how Quaver Health PE supports the whole school, including parents and families. When you click into parent resources, you'll find the wide variety of activities available for parents to explore and reinforce with their children at home. Parents will have access to this via a parent portal link to reinforce several activities per grade level and per health module at any time from any place. Let's explore a third grade activity today under the Healthy Eating and Nutrition module to support the health lesson and module we viewed in today's webinar. Let's click into the movement videos to find a kinesthetic application activity as we've already viewed a gym game today, but not a song. Ooh, balance and nutrition. This would be a great activity to support at home or to reinforce in any learning setting throughout the school day to help fit in the recommended 150 minutes of physical activity per week. Let's enjoy a short clip of this movement video. Feel free to dance along. Yo, check out the new Quaver exclusive. <laughs> If you need energy, if you want flavor, get the right food to eat. There's so much to say, put whole grains on your plate. Fill yourself up with brown rice or oatmeal, quinoa by the cup. Grab your starches, fruits and veggies, proteins, don't skip the dairy. These are all good foods to eat. Seeking balance and nutrition, you're on a tasty to make your diet complete. What a great way to build in movement, physical activity, and instruction into a school day. Note that this movement video, in addition to every single Quaver Health PE activity, can be shared with family members, even if not accessible, through parent resources. Teachers can easily share these activities by clicking Menu, and from menu, clicking link. This pulls up a QR code and link to cut and paste and share out across the school community. 
Now that we've explored how to get parents, families, and the school community all involved with promoting and supporting whole school wellness, let's take this a step further and showcase how any teacher tasked with teaching health and or PE can create a customized lesson to fit their creative instructional approach and meet the needs of every learner. Let's head back to the teacher dashboard and move into resource manager. Under resource manager, teachers can customize any health or PE lesson from our curriculum as well as build their own resources to add into a lesson. Let's search for today's health lesson, Making Nutritional Choices, by clicking into Health Lessons under Resource Sets. And once we've found this lesson, we can simply drag and drop it into any folder we'd like on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and double-click or right-click on this lesson to open it up for editing. From here, we can now begin customization. Let's search for the physical skill video we watched today on kicking a stationary ball by clicking into the PE toolbox where one can find a la carte activities. We know this is a physical skill, so let's select this subcategory and then we can easily search for kick on the ground to drag and drop this into our lesson to now make this a blended health and PE lesson of our own. Maybe we also would prefer the movement video we watched a clip of today instead of the Healthy Choices gym game for our kinesthetic application activity. Let's first right click on the Healthy Choices gym game and select delete. From here, let's select OK to delete this activity from our custom lesson, and then use the search bar to type in and search for balance and nutrition. From here, we can simply select the video tab, drag and drop balance and nutrition into our lesson, and we now have a fully customized lesson using Quaver resources. But let's explore how teachers can bring in their favorite resources from the outside into a custom lesson or build their own. We can do this by clicking the menu button at the top right, selecting new screen, and then we're taken directly to resource creation. Here, teachers can build their own PowerPoint screen, assessments, rubrics, and even bring in their own favorite outside YouTube or Vimeo videos. Let's view a few examples of what some of these custom screens look like when built through resource creation. First, here's a YouTube link that you can bring into a Quaver lesson screen. Next, let's take a peek at this teacher recording. These are a great way to build in one's own physical skill videos or to pre-record many lessons which are especially great if you have a sub for the day. Next, here is a custom built rubric that teachers can use to assess students. Feel free to use Quaver's pre-built rubrics or create your own district specific one. Last, here's an example of a custom built assessment. These quiz challenges are a great way to review instruction and build camaraderie with your students. I hope you can see why we're so excited to share this new health and PE resource with you. In addition to the content you've seen today, we also provide industry leading professional development with live scheduled training, recorded professional development videos and webinars. Our communications team also creates weekly newsletters, social media content and shared information from teachers like you that provide us with tons of tips and best practices. Our customer support team is always ready to help you when you need it. They can be reached by phone, email, and social media. Finally, we work with districts to integrate into their district's single sign-on platform, which we know a lot of you have. We also roster students so they have their own accounts and you can give them assignments. If your district already uses one of our other resources, this may have already been done for you. We will work with any district to make sure this is taken care of for you. 
Now, let's take a look at QuaverEd's exciting community challenge inspired by the many community challenges you'll find in our health and PE resources. Ready, set, start the clock, and drop. How many burpees can you do in 60 seconds? Coach Dunkley invites you to take the challenge. Test out Coach Dunkley's training plan to prepare or train on your own. Next, pick your burpee style, set your timer, and record yourself doing the challenge. Whether you go with the double tuck or the side-to-side -side burpee, start the clock and count how many reps you can complete in 60 seconds. Let's take a closer peek at each type of burpee. Double tuck, and side to side. Be sure to tag at QuaverRed. Use hashtag drop and burpee and tag a friend in the comments. Start a movement in your community by having friends and family join in on the fun and try the challenge. We hope you'll join us for your drop and burpee challenge. I hope you can see how passionate we are about creating meaningful resources for teachers and for students. Our primary mission at Quaver is enriching the lives of children. We do so by creating meaningful classroom resources that help teachers meet the needs of the students in the world they're growing up in, which is a digital world. You can now find that and find out for yourselves. You can sign up for a free preview using the link that we're sharing in the chat. After this webinar, you'll be sent a follow-up email with the link plus the recording of the webinar. Once you sign up for the free preview, you'll have full access to all of the resources which you can use as early as tomorrow if you'd like. Let us know what you think. Feel free to share that link with any of your friends that couldn't make it today. Thank you so much for attending today's webinar and we hope that you have a great start to your spring. So tell your friends